I'll let him in. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Rebecca and Dad. Your beautiful son and your beautiful souls around you as visiting as pets. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, uh, Dr. Michelle. <clears throat> and the friend. Okay, so today is a very special day. Hi, Maria. Hi, Sage. I'll let the others to join <clears throat> because it's the Sinhalese New Year um, and it's, there's a planetary change. Now, this planetary change means um, it's very auspicious if you have worked within yourself and the universe is asking you to change your directions of looking at things and it is time for you to start looking at them in a conscious way. Now, saying that, you have wrote to me that you're in a great place, but you still find the world is not in a great place. Now, this is the starting point of self-sabotage, self that the world should do something for you to feel better. This is totally starting the space of self-sabotage because you're hurting and you are looking into the world through that hurt. And you will find furthermore, the world is only going to amplify what you're feeling is going to be that space. So this is where you have to take today, if you're in this space, just to have some compassion to yourself that you're going through a certain level of a loophole of emotions. And these emotions are triggering you to go furthermore into your story. Now, there is nothing world can do about this. It's just when you start having that compassion and love to yourself, you will find the world is in a loving place. It's a, absolutely, if you put a pink glasses like me, uh, you will see things in pink. Uh, it's a great reminder for me to say that, change my perception of the world. Now, saying that, I will give you direction in the class for you to go further. <clears throat> this is also a, a huge uh, morning for me because, as you know, these classes are coming through Nicolina's and Deza's work. So they set a, a good time to give a lot of time to give these classes to you guys. So Nicolina's father just passed away. Um, so just have that uh, thought of sending some love and wishes to the family and for her, him to totally move on to the next dimension of his journey. <clears throat> now saying that, take a deep breath in and allow your shoulders to roll back a few times, allowing that space of air that very gently moving into you without any tightness, without any suffocation, and you're gently dropping your armor or the tension that you're holding as a story. Maybe it's for you for over protecting yourself or protecting your idea, or protecting your conditions, the past story. And very gently allow that breath and the motion just to settle you into the space of the vinyana. It means you have become the observer, but not what is observed. At that very moment, whether you know there is a rigidity in the mind, body, all the breath, you're creating that harmony to find that space. You can call it love, you can call it God, compassion, and having gratitude into this moment. All what you're thinking might be something totally the perception. Now, very gently, take a deep breath in and shrug the shoulders up, tilt the head back, massage the back of the skull. Now, I will gently 
move the camera towards Darren. Shrug the shoulders up, tilt the head back, massaging your back of the skull where the C1 and C2 spine is totally relaxed and they're in the back of the head. <clears throat> Now take a deep breath in back into the center, chin to the chest and release that tension on the back of the neck. Even if you breathe out and collapse the spine, that's fine. If you want to keep the spine rigid, that's also fine in the elongation, but the back of the neck is totally relaxed. Now take a deep breath in, Lift up the head. Now shrug the shoulders up, feel the head back, and open up and close the mouth a few times to release the tension in the jaw. Open and close the mouth a few times. Release the tension, take a deep breath in and twist the spine to the left, come up, pull in. Take a deep breath in, coming back into the center, twisting the spine to the other direction. Some of courage and the pulling in. Breathing in back into the center, shoulders relax, chest open. Now take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. It's very gently use your breath wisely. Wait for the way the body is showing the impact of your story. There are times when you need to choose. You just very gently consciously connect into the stretch. Now bring that lock into the back a little bit. and see what you're willing to open up to. Don't waste this opportunity with such a receptive level of consciousness, going to the heart. Breath out, spread the wings wide. Now take a deep breath in, coming into the Garudas and the right arm on the top. and very gently touch the space of the third eye. Express what's in the space of your heart. And very gently breathe out, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock, collapse the spine into the space of the cat while you're holding the Garudasana. This is not about going into the details or the method. You just have to feel that courageous enough to open up into the space of the truth. Now spread the wings wider, release the tension, and come to the Garudas and onto the other side. Express your feeling through your posture does not need to complicate it. Now breathe out, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock into the space of the cat. So there is the posture in the motion, the posture 
is in pose. Consciousness is still there, whether you have a body or a posture or not. Now at the moment, you're working through the perception of a human being. Spread the wings wider, breathing in. Shoulders relax and just open. Now very gently take a deep breath in and change the leg formation for me. So change the leg formation. Take a deep breath in, breath out, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock into the space of the cat. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to move from the mind and its clutter, its complication, and allow the heart to able to see the simplicity of the body, simplicity of the breath, simplicity of the moment. Now breathing in, shoulders roll back, opening up the, to the space of a cow. Shoulders roll back. Mm. Because these complex issues is often simple, but it takes a toll on the body and the spine and the muscle, even the tension in the cells. Now breathing in very gently, coming back. Now this is a great time to stretch the neck to the right side by just taking that simple approach to pose to recess. Shoulders relax, scapula stabilize, engage the pelvic flow, keep the elongation of the spine, breathing in, simple breath in, and stretch the spine to the other side. You can use the hand as a weight and take a breath, be focused, gather and ground yourself with the postures, with the breath. It's exactly like driving a car. You have to watch not just the steering wheel. When the mind is just there, it's just the steering wheel. Back to the center. Now take a deep breath in and drop the complex explanation, justification, the world is in a worse place. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's put this guy interpretation. And very gently come into that simple truth that fairly obvious is the consciousness. Now take a deep breath in and stretch the left leg into the back. If this is harder for you to do it on the first time, dismiss, dismiss it for the, for the time being and finding a gentle posture to open up with some assistance with a bolster, blanket, so just take some time to settle into the simple truth of your heart that no one is separated from us. From somebody you become with the consciousness nobody, nobody to you become everybody. Everybody means not just humans, everything. What's your connection with the sound? What's your connection with the nature? Connection to the food, connection to the relationship. Connection to the giving, connection to the receiving. Now take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, breath out, drop the elbows and release the tension and very gently come into the heart of the practice and allow it to, in, to inform your approach and the decisions that you're going to take today. Shoulders roll back. Now very gently in this very moment, you're creating a higher vibration of goodness that attracts a certain type of energy because you have totally changed your attitude from the mind to the heart. 
and you're allowing the rest of the consciousness to help you. So you are not just gone into the finite part of the mind and just seeing the profit of everything, but you have gone into the infinite, the imagination, endless. Being open to that universal geniusness, not just what you thought. Breathing in very gently, coming back, shoulders roll back, opening up the chest. And now drop the elbows and go further. Now, in the meantime, start breathing in and find perfectly that there is extension in every part of your body. Those extensions are actually almost like antennas. They're the energy that can sense the oracle. Energy that can see the universal guidance. Energy that you're taking the blessing of the moment. Energy that breathe in the positive change in fortune that is in your stars. It is in your birth. It is your planets. It is always meant for you. And that good fortune is at this very moment. Your inspiration is to also assist others. You cannot be when the others are suffering that yourself is safe in a manifested level of a house or a money or a health. Or, so you, you are now having that gratitude to the joy of your, your blessings. And that blessings is a blessing to have you in this space for the other. So you become so attractive to this energy. And no one in this planet is loved because of their possession. They are loved because they feel and they bring the greatness in others. Breathing in gently, coming back, shoulders relaxed. Coming back to what? Real permanency, real residency in your being. Now very gently, we are moving into a plank. Now very gently, don't think about the old arthritis on the wrist or the feet or anything. Just breathing into the place without uh, fighting the story or without suppressing the story or without entertaining the story. You're taking a break from yourself, from your story. Now very gently left knee onto the floor. Right arm stretch into the front. Take a deep breath in, circular up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench. Spread those fingers and give them life back again. Give them energy back again. Give them the electricity back again. Right arm reaching into the back. And touch the floor. Now very gently drop the knees. Take a deep breath in, push the hips into the front. Now give a good rotation to the space of the digestion. Give a larger plan to unfold your life that you can digest what life is throwing into. When you think that the world is in a wrong place, you also affect your digestion because you feel like something is working against you so much and that you need to adjust your attitude or the expectation from place of trust so that you can see the blessing. And this is what it is. What a rotation to the other side. Spread those. Have those your universe, the planet of kidneys, the planet of liver, the planet of spleen, gratitude. So that these are holding and offering you a guiding space. Now stretch the spine into the back. Palms facing up, relax and allow the buttocks to relax 
I'm just I'm very gently this whole mystery of the human body. Don't think because the organ has been taken that it has shut on you. It may opening up another level of space. There might be pain now. Trust that there is so, so you avoid greater suffering later. I'm going through this. Now, very gently crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Take a deep breath in. Drop the belly. Soften the hips. Soften the hips. Soften the back. And you may sense some instability in the back today. Or that things are going to not changing. And maybe you're right. Maybe. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to allow the body to suffocate from that? Take a deep breath in into a gentle cobra. So the thing is, if it, it is working with you, but your conditioning is against it. So if you allow it, it will show you the time of your life, if you allow you. So maybe today's classes is just that, all looking into the left side. Try to keep the hips grounded, breathing in back into the center, and gently opening onto the other side. Back to the center. Now very gently relax the third eye on the fist. When I say the, uh, the fist and the third eye, it is accessing your power. When you are in the mind, you're losing energy. And practice is following through that space of the intuition. And, and restoring, plugging into the source of yourself. Now take a deep breath in. Soften the hips. Clasp the hands in the back. This is a great posture for digestion. And lift up, uh, take a deep breath in, lift up the chest, opening up the space of the energy of the digestion. Now, if you are okay with this posture, maybe you can hold on to the ankles. If it is not just do one leg at a time to release any tension, but always stretch the legs before reaching into the ankles. Because you don't want to distort in order to control the posture. Now heels closer to the buttocks and very gently let go. Now allow the head to turn or direct towards a space of the authentically energies moving. And very gently take a deep breath in and change in the head onto the other side. Open up the chest, open up the collarbones, open up the back of the neck. Where you once with the story held back. Where you with the story tighten. Where with your story the world is not a better place is suffocating. Now your capacity is to increase the energy of your soul so that you could see how small the segment of the mind is. Now take a deep breath in and relax. Palms onto the chest level. Now this is above uh, the gravitation. So this holds the potential to free you from the past constraints and open you up to more joyful and fulfilling way. 
of the bee. Now take a deep breath in and into up face. Shoulders roll back. See that, the, check the energy of the posture, what that energy gives up. It's not giving to control life or anyone else. It gives you to direct the energy towards the inner growth. Breathe out towards the down face. Head down, neck down, totally relax. Back of the neck, relax. Mm -hmm. Bending one knee at a time, releasing the tension. Now take a deep breath in, left leg up into the back. Give a good rotation to the left foot. Left knee to the left chest, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left knee to the left elbow, breathe out. Stretch back. Left knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left foot into the front. Now take a break at any moment if you feel that this is for me. Arms stretch into the back. Arms raise onto the crown. Interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Shoulders relax, just open. Now take a deep breath in and turn to the right and opening up onto the Virabhadrasana. Now, very gently, you're not sitting into the knee. You're not moving forward. You're just keeping your torso elongated. You're spreading the wings wider. You're going into the center of the floor, not into the knee and into the floor. Opening up your chest, left palm facing up, gentle arch. Now take a deep breath in and coming back into the center, elbow onto the knee. Now take a deep breath in. This is a beautiful posture. Now right arm roll back and hold on to the sacrum so that you get the right part of the elbow. And then just follow the elbow with the forearm reaching up to the ceiling. Now, even if you want to stretch into the front, it's up to you but don't allow that arm to collapse onto the face. Now you're breathing, you're uncovering the opportunities for healing. You're breathing so that your growth that would uh, be on the space of ill health and hidden, now it is blossoming. Now, what is the difference between before and now? Now your soul, the spirit, is orchestrating your best path to the resolution that increases that space of the fulfillment. Stretch the arm up to the ceiling, into the back, and touch the floor. Now left arm reaching into the front, up to the ceiling. Left reaching into the back and touch the floor. Now into a plank. Onto the down face. Now very gently left foot into the front, into the pigeon pose. Shoulders roll back, opening up the chest. Take a deep breath in. Any moment, sit and relax. It does mold to you if you need it. Take a deep breath in, roll the shoulders back, opening up the chest, and drop the elbows and release the tension. Now, the best path to work with your yoga is the resolution that increases the space of this understanding space of this fulfillment.
Now, this is also a time to open the space of the understanding, the compassion, and try to lose your grip on what you want to achieve, what you say that the world need to be. I need to be. My finances need to be. My health need to be. My relationships need to be. Your commitment is commitment to the truth, commitment to the path, but also accept the challenges which are right now. Now take a deep breath in gently, coming back. Coming back to what? Coming back to the moment. Now, I had a few chats with people. They say, I will never change. This is how I am. I don't believe in that because you have more power to change things than you realize. And as you let go, you will come to understand this. Plank. Stronger on the pelvic flow. Ah, that's how it's coming back. That's how. Right knee onto the floor. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling. Opening up. Left arm reaching into the back. Touch the floor. Right arm take a deep breath in and reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench. Right reaching into the back. Touch the floor. Now drop the knees. Gently push the hips into the front and into the back. Now give a good rotation into the hips and release the tension. Now this is a good time to leave the wrist on the floor, spread the fingers up to the ceiling and give a rotation in uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So this will have more energy to release the things that you're having the grip on. And just allow your hands to be on the space of the receiving, not on the space of I'm gripping because this is where my securities are. Now, very gently, very gently come into the space of that. Now, very gently from here, we will move into a down phase. Right leg up into the back, rotation to the right foot, right knee to the right, just breathe out. Stretch back, right knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, right knee onto the left elbow. Stretch back, right foot into the front. Hi, Dasa. Hope you're getting the video coming through, arms um, stretch into the back, arms raise onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up, sit deeper, take a deep breath, opening up into the Virabhadrasana, and sitting deeper. Now, remember, you're not moving the weight into the front knee. You're grounding through the sacrum. You're grounding through the hips. Give a good rotation to those arms. Left, right palm facing up, gentle arch. Come back to the center elbow onto the knee. Now, you can stretch up to the ceiling when you got the right level of so now you're breathing beneath the layers of your conditioning in the body 
in the mind. So in this very moment, you're totally fully So your consciousness should allow you to resonate with the authenticity rather than your conditioned expectations about how the posture should be, how the breath should be, how the, my body should be. So when you open up, you will naturally gravitate to the energy of other souls, places, energies that will support in being your brightness, space of the truth. Gently coming back onto the floor after the rotation, right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Now take a deep breath in and allow the body to go into that space of the mystery space of the life. Forget about I am this, I am that, I am this age, I am this, I am this sickness, I am this. Allow the universe to see that you're a blank canvas. You have an innocence of the child and the path will be shown. All the religions also say this much level of the good karma, goodness, positiveness will come in your honor in this space of the truth. Into the back touch the floor. Into a plank. Drop the knees, stretch the spine into the back. Now, even we are so sure about our path, Actually, no one can assume, neither you should assume your path, because that's a control. And take the breath in and allow the breath to live and breathe out and let live. In this way, you make a generous contribution towards the, the earth, towards the humanity. You won't miss a thing that meant for you. Any blessings, child pose. Now take a deep breath in and wake up the spine one vertebra at a time. Shoulders roll back, opening up the chest. Lift up the space of the heart. Now take a deep breath in. Lift up the space of the heart. Now switch the legs into the front. Now give a good rotation to the feet. Take the feet, release the tension. Now this is the time that if you're afraid of the world, if you're afraid of the crowd, afraid of what others say, safe or true. Ask yourself what matters to your soul. Now, soul of the feet together. And butterfly the hips and the growing. And really allow this energy that you call hips growing to nourish you and bring some energy of nourishment. Also, maybe a deeper sense of satisfaction more than nourishment. I think if you're having that level 
in your whole universe that you call body, healing and awakening will happen. But it will only happen in the privacy of your own understanding, your own inquiry. Now, interlay, you can put under the ankles onto the toes and walk the bum back and go into the Kumarasana, the great tortoise. Spread the knees, open up the hips, very gently roll your hips further, and very gently land your chin or the forehead on the space. Not hunching so much. It's okay to hunch, but try to keep your shoulders rolled back. And ask yourself what matters to you and what in your heart you truly believe. Live from that place and that you will truly live. Not what is a singer is saying, what is a philosopher saying, not even what I am saying. Good for you. But this is not a place of the mind. This is a place of the space of the heart. Every education steal your joy. Every level of borrowed knowledge make you good and bad. It leaves you in the polarity. So who you are beyond this capacity. Every moment of an in-breath is a choice to liberate yourself from the fearful, negative influences. It is a commit to unconditional to being. Now take a deep breath in and coming back, shoulders relax, just open. Now stretch the legs into the front, palms onto the floor, lift up the hips, and lift up the space of the heart. It might be difficult, so you might go to a tabletop instead of this way. So feet drawing into the mat, hips are lifting up, opening up the gaze of the throat, gaze of the forehead, and the heart. Now very gently coming down, knees to the chest to complete, breathe out. Breathing in stretch and moving into the Navasana. Breathe out, knees to the chest. Keep the chin up, shoulders roll back. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing in, breathe out. Now very gently, very gently, stretch the legs into the front, onto the floor. Now left knee onto the chest. Bring the left foot onto the right side. Take a deep breath, left arm reaching up to the ceiling and very gently roll back into the back and bring that right elbow into the side of the knee, opening up. Now, this is a great posture if you can focus on the digestion and breathing and releasing the distraction from the space of the digestion and very gently using the breath unwittingly to slow down your, your anxiety. Now very gently come into the connection of the gut. And very gently ask your gut currently working on his to assist you ultimately into the fulfillment, not overtiring them. Trust that when you need to know something, the universe will 
get that awareness to you. So it's very important to keep the back open so your kidneys are also working with it. Now take a deep breath in, gently coming back. Bring that knee more closer to the chest and just hold on for a second. And then release the tension. Now you might need to take a neck alignment again or a jaw or the hip or the arm. So please do that. Uh, now let's do it onto the other side. Sense and trust. When you're ready, take a deep breath in, right arm reaching up to the ceiling, opening up, opening up. And very gently bring that, the extension of the left arm, left elbow, extension. So nothing. So this is a great posture to release the grief from the belly, release the suffering from those organs, release the sadness, Release the anger, release the fear. And now I want you to connect your heart into this beautiful empowered space that doing wonderful job of digestion, not only digestion, this beautiful instrument that plays the music of the soul, plays the music of the health, plays the music of the harmony of our vitality. Now, by breathing and holding the posture in a such a way, it's like a holiday. Now, you can sense through the breath and tuning into the natural state of this space. Now, even you can imagine that your liver is in a space of a smile. Evoke the laughter in your cells. Evoke the laughter where it is more sad. For me, it might be the spleen and the pancreas. This is a, such a Balinese way of getting the organs to open up. You have seen this on the eat, pray, and love. Open your heart to the silly and the wonderfully ridiculous side of the energy. Now, Gently come back, hold that knee onto the chest, releasing the tension. Now very gently release the leg, shake the leg, shake. So it's not being contrived or forcing anything, but exploring the way to bring the music back, the capacity of the daylight because you are so concerned about where the interest rate, where this, and your rather sad state of affairs in the world. Sometimes we take things far more seriously in an educated way. And for what it has stolen the honesty, the joy, the good nature, to appreciate the love and the laughter, the humor. What happened to all these? Now take a deep breath in and lie down on the floor, releasing the tension. Uh, take a delight in your lying down. A space of a joyful spirit is lying down. I'll bring the knees to the chest completely. Breathe out. Give a good rotation and see what kind of an offer you can give it into this body. Let the body be your friend, the relation. Not just it's working so hard to achieve you money, so you are more sad, achieving you hmm, power to be more fearful, fatigue and exhaustion. 
Now very gently stretch the arms onto the side, left knee on top of the right knee. And dropping onto the left side. Very gently ask that, am I still conscious about the path? Now release the tension of those dark energies and start breathing into the brightness of these cells. Brightness into the space of the heart. Brightness that uh, sweep in the shadows of the past. Sweep in the shadows of the future. Now bring that inner strength that you can take a pause and reconnect it without plugging into the guilt, the anxiety. Breathing in back into the center. Shoulders relax. Change the leg formation for me and drop it onto the other side. Drop the knees, opening up. This opening up is, I am going to rest. I am going to keep my tools away. No spirit wants you to be in the space of only work. It loves the playfulness because the universe itself is a play. Leela. So where have you lost your playfulness? Because I always say you play to win. What happened to your playfulness? Do you have to have a winning all the time? Breathing in back into the center. Now very gently bring both knees of the chest forehead onto the knee. Curve the spine a bit more, back of the neck. Pull the belly in, stretch the body. Now relax the back of the shoulder and back of the head and lock onto the toes. And very gently try to get the feet apart. Very gently. Very gently, very gently. Now very gently, sole of the feet looking up. Very gently bring that knees close to the armpits. And very gently opening up the space of the body, releasing the tension of those twists and turns in your pathway. And very gently allow this body, the breath has come to you as a team of helpers who also knows the fuller vision and knows your path. and allow them to work with you. Ensure that the success is that uh, outcome of your mind, body, spirit, not just your ego. I have seen people failing every day because they are totally believing in their minds, but not all the other parts. Now very gently, Knees to the chest completely breathe out. Now very gently holding onto the left knee and releasing the right leg away from you and holding from the back of the knee, flexing the foot by stretching the leg. Very gently try to bring it a little bit back towards your head part, opening up, opening up. There is a vulnerability in this posture, but there is also health in this posture. Now very gently knee to the chest and let go. 
get the extension and let go. Getting in the habit of aligning with the posture, aligning with the breath, aligning with giving your undivided attention, giving fully permission for this grace to enter into this space. Now to the other side. Take your time. Now very gently knee to the chest, completely breathe out. Forehead on to the knee. If you can, or you can bring both knees and forehead onto the knees, then you can rock the spine and coming into a seating posture. Now take a deep breath in and twist the spine to the left, change the leg formation. Back to the center, onto the other side. Now coming back, elongate, shoulders relax. Take a moment. Palms onto the namaskar position. Take a deep breath in and chanting a single OM to sustaining your heart and soul. A more nurturing fear. So this OM is becoming more settled. This OM is also the sound of your body is stronger. This OM is also the sound of a clearer space of a mind. So take a deep breath in. Now stretch the arms into the front where your life path is opening up with more joy and more empowerment. Raise the arms. This could feed your soul with the right space right now. You're allowed to choose to take in what will support you and pass on what you will not. Coming into the crown chakra. Just bringing that courage to stand in the truth of your own light. Third eye. Releasing the tension and coming out from that closet and opening up into the state of the spiritual. Throat chakra. Rise to the sense of empowerment in your speech without separation. Heart chakra. Remember that you are in possession of your own soul. No other person can ever own you. You have the right to come into the space of the navel sitting. Gentle boundaries and speak to your truth freely. Muladhara, allowing yourself does not imply that another has any right to intrude or impose their view upon you. Release the tension of that. Arms raise under the crown. Put a spiritual field of that grace, maintaining a stronger private inner spiritual connection at all times to sustain and support you. 
it is safe for you to be seen, even to stand out from the crowd. It's okay. Touch the earth, respect for this beautiful generosity of the teachings coming in the most rarest times for your own growth. Gently coming out of the pasture. Namaste into that space of grace within you. Now, thank you very much for coming. It's a very auspicious day. We are having a very gentle, kind of a loving energy of rain moving through. I will set the rest of the house for the rituals, for blessing for all of you, Dr. Michelle and Penny, Penny and uh, Daryl and Rebecca and your beautiful souls and your son, Sylvia, and your family, Liz Dorothy, and your loving family and friends, Maria and Sage. Okay. So today's class is, you could see, we are taking layer of, layer of the conditioning parts of the mind and becoming more pure with the intention. And if you need to question the authority of the world, authority of the politician, authority of the environment, this or that, question, am I in the path? If you're in the path, you will see that the world is not in a division. It is in a place of unity. And your vibration will allow you to bring you into the place of those other souls who are emerging into that level of elevation. So whatever you're going through, you all go through things. They are not happening as against us. That's when our egos hit on that place. Okay, this is a nuisance. This is wrong, this is right. Because those will toxicate our bodies and our health. And why do you have to be right if you can be in a place of compassion? I will choose compassion rather than being right. So choose and just let go things that no longer serve the purpose of your practice. And my love to you all, big hugs, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. And you will be all in my heart when I'm lighting the oil lamps today. Namaste to you all.